Hi folks and welcome to another bikepacking adventure here in Norfolk. In this episode I'm going with a couple of mates of mine from the Iceni Velo, that's Dave and Mike, and we're heading off to Baconsthorpe, which is a small village just outside of the town of Holt up on the North Norfolk coast. We're going out for a one-nighter and we've all got different bikepacking equipments, so we'll have a look at those during the course of the video. So I've opted for a one-man tent this weekend and Dave also is going for a tent I believe, but Mike, he's trying out a new piece of kit. It's a hooped busy bag so we'll see how he gets on with that coming up folks Baconsthorpe is a village approximately 60 kilometers to the northwest of Norwich and 6 kilometers from Holt leaving Norwich our route meanders through Norfolk towards Aylsham and then to Baconsthorpe Meadows camping site which we hope to reach before 7 p.m. Dave. Dave. It's all set up. No sleeping bag though. Hardcore. Mmm. Hardcore regret. Is he going to live to regret this? This is Mike. Hi right, Mike. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Mate, you are definitely the most minimalist well, out of us. That's what I've got, so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so I reckon mine's definitely got to be the heaviest. That's a muscle. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> no more jerky. All right. See you later, Donna. Tonight's checkpoint. Oh, look at all the old fires. Yeah, it's uh, really cool. Fire lighters, kindling. Awesome. Where's the pack horse? Come on, Mike, <laughs> stick it on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> Got to ride with that all the way back to Norwich. Anything we don't burn. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Have to ride with it as well. Just push. <laughs> if you wanted, we could go here. There's a tap. Yeah. Then we'll get the morning sun. Like a scene from the Wild West. <laughs> right, I'll go back and get the fire fire pit. Awesome. We've arrived at Bacon Thought campsite. We're gonna get ourselves set up and we're gonna have a fire tonight. Brilliant. Been an absolutely tremendous ride up here. Really beautiful evening. Looking forward to having a fire, get the kit sorted out. Yeah, let's do it.
Hi Dave, so what are you out in tonight and what have you got there? I've got the little Fox OEX2 I think it is, OEX2, go outdoors, cheap and cheerful tent. And Look at that. one man coffin job. Seems to be okay, does the job. It's not the lightest in the world, but good for the money. And filing out tonight the new Berghouse Peak Compact Sleeping Mat. Yeah. It's self-inflating, so push that down, opens the valve out. Let the air in for about 10 minutes and uh, you can give it a little bit of extra puff. Three quarter length, do the job. Can't be any worse than the old one I had. You can tell us tomorrow how it was. Absolutely. Good man. Cheers. Mike. Hmm. He's not done his hair yet. Mike's sort your hair out. Yeah. <laughs> what are you out in tonight, Mike? What you got? Um, it's Outkit Elan Bivy Tent. Cool. So it's just a bit of a simple thing, really. A couple of poles, keep the um, tent off your head. Yeah. Uh, Outkit sleeping mat, inflatable mat, small inflatable pillow, it's just a go outdoors I think, a mountain warehouse sleeping bag. Yeah. And yeah, little, um, you see, oh, I see. Screen. You yeah. see at the back to uh -huh. flow through. Oh, that's nice, yeah. It's like nowhere near the width of the actual mm. tent. Yeah. Just again, it's just light and basic. Oh. You like your alpha kit, don't you? I do. <laughs> Big fan. And like a bivy cover for the sleeping bag, just in case it gets a bit of a condensation and stuff in there. Wow, that is small, lightweight, and compact. But you're not claustrophobic. It was fine last time, so fingers crossed it'll be alright tonight. <laughs> and tonight, I've, t I've brought out, I bought this. This is my little, my tiny. Lixida stove. So we're going to you put that together, and then you can either burn wood in it if you haven't got any fuel at all. So if you're out in the sticks, yeah. like your man up in Scotland, you could just burn that. But I'm going to put a little spirit stove in the middle. Should do the job. It's leaked a bit. Anyway, then that's going to sit in there. Put your stuff on that. Pretty good, isn't it? Set the kitchen up. <laughs> oh, I love that little stove. Great, That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. We burnt the van down with it a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off to Donna. Showing how it worked. I forgot how high the flame goes on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can repair felt roofs with yeah. it and lay tarmac. Yeah. On the menu tonight, I got that beef goulash, Uncle Ben's rice, sticky toffee pudding, and a French tuna starter. Cool. Dave, you've got all your oh, cooking yeah. stove. What you got? Check this out King's jerky. Wow. A bit of King's, bit jerky. Of King's jerky. And some uh, Go Noodles Extreme Hot and Spicy. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. This is cool, Mike. What you? Powered tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what, what you got? Bag of pasta and a fork. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I've even bought a plate tonight. Look, I got this. Wow. Little. It's actually a dog bowl. <laughs> but yeah, it should open up, and I'll be able to get all my grub in there. They do actually. These ones are quite expensive. These are supposed to be like your backpackers sort of. They're very, very similar to military meals, like military rations. Um, but Aldi do some brilliant little ones, you know, for like half the price. There it is, a bit of dog food. <laughs> In a dog's bowl. <laughs> Three quarter length mat than you do. Yeah. Put your legs hurt with that. Well, I was saying, Andrew, the guy who runs uh, Army Surface Base on Pottergate was saying to me, you're going for size and weight, don't worry about full length. It's only torso that needs supporting. 
so I'm working on that theory. He did say, however, if you if you haven't got a sleeping bag, then you should have a full length one. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, did, he definitely said that, yeah. Just before sunset, we venture out to Baconsthorpe Castle, the ruins of a 15th century fortified manor house. Baconsthorpe Manor was established by the Hayden family and lies just outside the village. The Haydens became one of the leading families in Norfolk, with much of their wealth coming from sheep and the wool trade. During the English Civil War, Sir John Hayden fought for the Royalists, but after the King's defeat, Parliament declared him delinquent in 1646 in retaliation. After Sir John's death, the family's wealth fell in decline and much of the estate was demolished in order to sell it for stone. Having seen the sun set on Baconsthorpe Castle, it was back to the campsite to sit around a fire and share stories. With a brilliant weather forecast for the next day, we talked of an early start and our route along the North Norfolk coast and tomorrow's adventures. Thanks very much for watching, please watch part 2 in the next video.